Hello everyone, my name is Zhu Jianping. I'm from Chinese Academy of Science, Institute of Information Engineering, State Key Laboratory of Information Security. It's a great honor to participate in the SNP 2020. And I will introduce our work entitled Enabling Rugged Skill Confidential Computing Using Heterogeneous Trusted Execution Environment. First is our motivation and background. Why we need a rugged skill heterogeneity? Nowadays, the data-driven technologies and applications have brought the data privacy and its computing security to the spotlight as never before. There is an urgent demand for privacy-preserving techniques to support computing and data-intensive processing. However, the existing T's do not support many heterogeneous units like GPU, TPU, FPGA, and so on. For mobile phones, PC platforms, or other small terminals, it's a reasonable solution to construct heterogeneous T inside a single chip package or even in a sing single chip die. However, when it comes to data center or cloud platform, application scenarios, the heterogeneous architecture often exists in a distributed way, composed of blade microserver CPU clusters and a variety of accelerated cards. As more and more modern data centers use pooled resource access protocol to manage various distributed resources, we need a rack scale heterogeneity to protect all types of distributed resources, including CPU pool, accelerator pool, memory pool, and the interconnection between them. Recent years, we have seen some related works. However, they all need to modify the existing CPU and or GPU chips. And they may also need to port the AI runtime into the CPU T in Cleave. Our new design, hit T. We present a HIT-T, which is uniquely constructed to work with today's service, with the focus on protecting platform as a service against the information leaks. HIT-T has a strong support for rack skill heterogeneous computing, enabling collaborative computing units to be protected. Conveniently assigned across secure or insecure worlds and different enclaves. HDT has a small TCB. Security controller with necessary code customized for supporting CDI task isolation to reduce its complexity and also minimize the side channel attack service exposed by resource sharing with the untrusted host. HDT do not need any chip level changes. This is covering a large number of existing devices and chips in the industry. We consider a strong adversary who controls the entire software stack on host system. And the adversary can also mount a side channel attack, for example, by analyzing network traffic. Covert channels are currently out of the scope of the paper. The adversary with physical access to the outside server can mount a snooping attack on the host memory bus but the adversary cannot physically tamper with the HDT box. The hardware adversary cannot mount snooping attacks on the PCIe fabric within the HDT box. The code boot attack cannot succeed when the time taken to open the sealed box illegally is longer than that for retaining memory content after the power is removed. Attacks against the cryptographic algorithms are out of our scope. Denial service attacks are also not considered in this paper. We trust the FPGA sensor tool and the MCPU firmware. We also trust the firmware of GPU and its hardware vendor for the correctness of firmware updates. Head T overview. This is the overview of our head T design. The HDT box contains a security controller 
and PCIe Fabric responsible for security management and resource allocation. The proxy node microservice we see its accelerators responsible for computing. While the outside server nodes are exposed to insecure clouds. The HTT box can easily adapt to the standard server rack of the current data center. Elastic resource allocation and isolation. The PCIe Express Fabric chips has two properties important to our design. First, software defined fabric. All the hosts connected by the fabric only see what the dedicated management CPU allows them to see. Second, flexible top layers. Multi chip fabric eliminates the top layer restriction of PCIe. This tool figure shows how HDT flexibly allocated resources inside and outside of the box based on PCIe switch fabric. When we use secure mode, all transfers must pass through security controller, and its accelerators must be allocated to inside proxy node for computing. While for non-sensitive tasks, the outside server node can directly access the accelerators, which are allocated to outside. When an enclave is destroyed, both the present node and related computing units need to be cleaned up to remove data and restore to the secure state before the establishment of a new enclave. Security controller initiates a code secure reboot on the proxy node, which clears the context, including all the data inside memory and architectural registers. Meanwhile, all accelerators assigned to the proxy node are also powered off and reset to get back to their original secure states, assume that the firmware has not been compromised. Secure reboot process ensures that the proxy node can only load the OS and accelerator software from signed image on the scene. We removed the boot room chip on the proxy node board and connected the SPI interface circuit line for boot loading to the dedicated IO pin of the FPGA chip on the SC board. The function of the boot room chip is replaced by the model of the FPGA chip, which verifies loads of the OS and other code to the proxy node. Due to the resource pooling technologies, HDT used, the average rebooting to waiting time can be reduced. This figure shows the enclave's life cycle. Once the previous task finished, the enclave will be rebooted immediately, which resource with clean context is registered to the ideal queue. SC structure and HDT enclave. This figure shows the enclave concept of HDT and the security controller functions. Only security and management models are deployed to the SSC, which composed with MCPO and FPGA. Other software components, including GPU driver, runtime, and the AI framework like, like TensorFlow, run on the HDT enclave, which composed with proxy node and its accelerators. The separation of security and computation simplifies the TCB and releases the limitation of computing power inside the enclave. This figure shows the detailed structure of SC. The left part of the figure is the ciphertext error, and the right part is the plain text error. The untrusted server nodes outside the box can only access the ciphertext queue. The proxy node inside the HTT box can only access the plain text message queue, and the MCPO can only access plain text config queue. Only the encryption and the control hardware logic on FPGA is allowed to access queues on both sides. It runs AES-GCM encryption decryption 
the data from one queue before moving the result to the another queue. The model also performs ID authentication and integrity check. Each node's own PCIe space only be mapped to its own dedicated DMA by the PCIe switch fabric. Different message queues are isolated by using private DDR for controllers. Different config queues are isolated by different block runs on FPGA chip. There's no direct, direct shared space between HDD box and outside host, and between different enclaves, all interactions across the bound are forced to encrypt. This essentially eliminating the possibility for out of bound access and software side channels. Trust establishment. This figure shows the remote attestation and symmetric key negotiation protocol. Each HDT box includes two set of public key paths, endorsement key and attestation key. We adopt two-layer public key pass design similar to Sanctum to enhance the security of a HDT certificate trend. The difference is the root of trust. In HDT design, the endorsement key is kept as a constant in the encrypted FPGA bit stream. Performance and cost evaluation. This figure shows the prototype of HDT system. The current prototype includes two PEX9797 chips, one SC node, four Prox nodes, and four NVIDIA GPUs, both SC and uh, product node board are performed as the custom board. This figure shows the confidential AI service. The prototype provides request acknowledge message APIs for the remote users, configuration messages, code messages, and data messages. This two figures shows the performance of a head on single GPU. For most of the workloads in our evaluation, the throughput overhead is under 5%. With the increase of batch size, GPU batch performance in baseline improves faster than HDT batch performance with security mechanisms. So the performance overhead grows with batch size. This two figure shows the latency overhead on single GPU. When batch size is 8, the average inference latency overhead is 42.96%, and the average training latency overhead is 18.54%. As we can see, the data transfer time continues to increase as the batch size grows, while the decryption time is small and stable. This table shows the inference if throughput scalability of multiple GPUs. Two conclusions can be drawn. First, the elastic resource allocation mechanism of HDT can significantly improve when the performance of a single HDT enclave. Second, HDT doesn't affect scalability compared to the baseline. Cost analyzed. When more expensive a number of GPUs are integrated, the portion of secret expense will go further down. Security analysis. HDT TCP only includes the hardware, firmware, and the software components of the security controller. Security guarantees provided by HDT at a platform as a service model. An enclave user's data is protected first from the enclave on an other proxy node, and second from the past and future users of the same proxy node, third from the untrusted hosts, and fourth from the cloud provider. Since none of such protection has been implemented on the proxy node, we consider the proxy node outside of the PCD. The proxy node is isolated from the SC and can only access its task queue. Therefore, a compromised price cannot tamper with the SC in the absence of security flows. When the chassis is opened without authorization, the ceiling MCU actively empties the bit stream located in the FPGA connected flash chip and power down the entire system. The root of trust has been destroyed. The attack cannot get sent 
sensitive content from the valid memory, and no can be touch the content of the encrypted data on the disk since the, the disk key is destroyed. Our HTT design is immune to star blade attack, even when using Silence 7 series FPGA, because the whole FPGA card is inside the sealed chassis. Both two necessary points in the star blade adversary model are not satisfied. The attack cannot get the encrypted bit stream inside the sealed HTT box, and also cannot access all the FPGA config interfaces. Conclusion We present the first heterogeneous T design that support large scale compute and all data intensive CDI compute computing without any chip level change. Second, HTT leverages modern resource pooling technologies to dynamically compartmentalize computing tasks and enforce strong isolation and reduce TCB through hardware support. Third, our evaluation shows small performance overhead and exhibits good scalability. Down the road, we plan to further evaluate our design and implementation through formal verification and investigate hardware software separation of the design. Thank you for listening.